Next on Enviro Close Up, environmental injustice, fought and won in Virginia. The answers to the questions, where did they go? Uh, uh, who got those answers, John? We compile those and we use those. Uh, they were used, for example, at the uh, from the data we received, we knew the population of the area, the homes that we uh, visited, the number of people, the demographics. We gathered that information. And it was, I believe, approximately 83% Afro, Afro-Americans living in that community, which at the time of uh, Dominion or uh, FERC had said that the community was not, there was no historical value or no, there really wasn't anything worthwhile in the community. And the population, uh, they had misrepresented that 29 point uh, person per square mile. All of this was false information. This was done so make it easier for them to obtain the special use permit. So we refused that information. John really gets to the heart of the methods that are required to overturn permits by countering industry-sponsored misuses of census track and other data, the benigning of frac gas health impacts, the erasure of cultural history, in places where there's a vast amount of cultural history, where the burial sites of former slaves are located. So that work, that community participatory action, action research is the means through which communities have to fight infrastructure from coming in because they're countering the cost benefits of racism in Virginia, where developers are given three years of the Department of Environmental Quality staff time to fix up their permits so that they can get approved, while the same department will give no time to engage with the communities. So we have to do the research ourselves. And that's why it's so vital that the cultural experts in the Native American leaders and the African American leaders guide these projects because that's how we got robust research data, as they say in you know, science. And then we were able to put those into each one of our public comments by having comment parties first to prepare for these hostile environments where the Federal en Energy Regulatory Commission or the local board of supervisors is going to be people from the white community who are the majority in Buckingham anyway, um, who are descendants of the plantation owners that enslaved the ancestors of the people of Union Hill. So it's a very delicate uh, place of research because these voices have been silenced. So the bravery of John and Ruby, his wife, and Marie Gillespie to go door to door and then to put that evidence into the public record is why this air permit was overturned. Because these other, uh, the industry is going to try to erase it. They, they told us that we were using barns and uh, outbuildings to make it seem more numerous. And our peer review found that the map that we created accurately was indeed the case. 
I want to thank you all for, for being with us today on Enviro Close Up. Thank you for your great work. Uh, thank the viewers for watching Enviro Close Up. And for more information on our programs, just uh, click on to www.envirovideo.com. Thanks for watching. <music>